Hey guys, we're at Fair Park right now competing in the World Food Championships. We're gonna be in the steak category this year. We're gonna be grilling outside some awesome steaks. Uh, Team Culinary Code's hyped up and ready to go, so let's have a blast. These are gonna be watermelon radishes. We're gonna be pickling them. Adds a little bit of color to it. Nice, vibrant pink color. We're gonna be pickling those. Give it some crunch. This is the flavor profile for the flat bread campfire. It's rosemary infused butter and milk. I am cooking uh, fondant potatoes with a cheese sauce filling. This is a side dish for the steak. Even though we're outside, we're still trying to bring all that fine dining. More so? It's like, it's like almost there. But. I know. So this is a pickling liquid, and so all those flavors are marinating right now. You want to always do these first, so that way they have a time to really absorb all of it and really pick it. I'm going to uh, really infuse that smoke flavor into all these ribeyes. Um, and so when you reverse sear it, while you're slowly bringing it up to that temp, you're letting the meat kind of cook evenly and really tenderize. So This is a red wine caviar that we are making right here. How we do this is we make our base. like So we just got some uh, red wine, some red wine vinegar, and then some aromatics. Uh, let that cook a little bit. And then we weighed it out, added 1% uh, of it in agar, mix those together. And then we got some chilled oil. After we sear it here, we're gonna throw it in the smoker so it can slowly start bringing up the internal of the temp. But with bone marrow, you really want like all this little like, uh, I guess like cartilage and stuff like that on the outside, you don't really want to see that. So you really want to roast it, caramelize it, and make it look appetizing. Got it look good up here, I'll tell you that. We got some uh, really cool uh, miniature red onions right here. I can guarantee you nobody out here is doing the miniature. Basted it in some uh, compound butter, some uh, garlic. It's going pretty good. We're on time. Everything's tasting good so far, looking good. So I'm excited. Uh, we're going to be making our butter sauce here. We got a compound butter and Irish butter mix. We got some fennel, Fresno, shallot, peppercorn, a little bit of herbs in there. Well, I am making a hatch chili gravy. And I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of brie. So we're gonna serve this with a uh, bechamel chili gravy. We're gonna be using uh, Fresh Chili Company's uh, sweet and spicy uh, mustard in our butter sauce, packed with flavor, beautiful color, so pretty tasty. Uh, the best one out here. The best one out here. Gotta have a tip jar out here. We got, the, we got the sword going. Just trying to keep it all juicy. Not trying to let any of that juice come out. We got this beautiful smoke rim right there with those char marks on it. Beautiful medium rare. I can feel the crust on this one, so that's good. That's a nice crust. Yeah, this is street food right here. Yeah, there's a smoke ring forming around it, so that's good. Once it's rested for a little bit, you're gonna see that nice juicy color come in. This is our butter sauce with a reverse seared smoked steak right here. We've got some beautiful Fresno shallots, fennel, a little bit of herb in there as well, heavy cream. But there's 13 competitors. Yes. What sets you apart? Uh, I feel like we're really trying to showcase all the different ways you can make a ribeye. Like we have reverse here, we got country fried, both with the grill marks and the pan marks. We've got butter basting and that, like those herbs and aromatics. And we're also bringing in some of this gastronomy. Sure. We're bringing in pickling, like a lot of different flavors, all these colors, microgreens, like everything that you can really do to showcase a ribeye. We want to do this on this plate.
We feel really good about this dish. Everything looked and tasted absolutely amazing. Uh, we have all these people with us supporting us. Um, couldn't have asked for a better crew to make our entry into the state championship, so we're feeling good. All right, now we're gonna start handing out some samples from what we made, so we're gonna try to feed the people who came out to support us. Awesome. Just, mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. that's all, that's all I, I, I would say the flavors keep coming. It's like one flavor, yeah. and then another flavor, and, and then another added, flavor, added. and then you think you're done, and then it's another flavor. It is incredibly smooth. So many different little flavors in there. I, I, I mean, seriously, it's just so smooth is the word I come up with. It's, it's rich with different flavors. The smokiness on the steak, unreal. You see the outside, they also seared it and everything. This mustard sauce, oh, my yeah. goodness. The mustard's good. It's really good. <laughs> You're a great beer. World class. World class. No one does it better. Wow. Let me tell you, this is I, indescribable. That's all I can say. Very flavorful. Your mouth is bursting this with, is this amazing. Side, with the, all these flavors. It's very good. This is simply beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Just like the whole thing feels completely like well-rounded but easy to chew on. Woo!